start. A very warm good morning to you all. Uh, this is Vijay Kumar uh, Dupa, uh, a panel ranker, hot ninth ranker in CA final. So I'm here and uh, to share my opinions about my final exam with you. First, I would like to thank uh, CA team for giving me an opportunity to share my views and opinions with you. So regarding my CA final exam, I need to uh, suggest you people about the two things. One is a personal motivation, and second is subject suggestions. How I read my CA final subjects and all. So first of all, when coming to subjects, I would like to give you suggestions about some subjects, uh, especially. So first thing is uh, regarding first group, uh, I would like to tell about FPA first. So financial reporting is a subject which is most uh, easy when compared to other subjects in group one. So as we have been in touch with FPA uh, for since from the last four years, right from the CS career. So we have been very in touch with FPA. So FPA is an easy subject, so where you can get exemption even. So which will be useful for other subjects and aggregation too. So I think I, uh, FR is subject where we can rely on practice man and study material. So in my case, I've been uh, studied FR practice man and study material for two to three times or four times even. So which has been helped a lot. So if you have any doubts, you can go refer back the previous papers so that you can analyze uh, where the questions are coming from in case of FR. So I think uh, for FR, SM and uh, PM are most uh, sufficient, I guess, to get an exemption. So please do practice of in case of FR in written also before appearing the exams because we have been uh, lost our experience to write the exams for the past three years because we have attempted from uh, the CIPC exams from three years back. So again, if you want to write the exams, it's very difficult to us to cope with the fastness. So it's better for you to write the revision exams before appearing to the main exam. So it will be very easy for you to uh, write the exam in a timely manner and to score good marks also and try to attempt 100 marks so that you can get exemption in FR. Uh, regarding the second subject, SFM, which is strategic financial management, it's more similar to FR, I think so, because uh, it is a problematic paper, so where you can get exemption easily. So, uh, in case of strategic financial management, it is very important to remember the formulas because uh, most, of, most of the questions have been based on the formula. So, if you remember the formula, you can get at least uh, half the marks in the question. Uh, so, uh, even in this case, also, I prefer study material and practice manual of ICA so that you'll get more marks, and this is also a subject where you can get. Uh, uh, an exemption also. So I think uh, uh, for you people, uh, more diligence is required because to get the formula and to get the presentation how it is there in the practice manual, it's uh, sufficient for you to practice the sums uh, for two to three times or at least four times also, it's more better than three times. So I think uh, it will be useful for you and the same in the case of FR, you need to have a practice in uh, writing so before entering the exams uh, in strategic national management also and uh, moreover uh, I think uh, it's more uh, important to remember that it is also a subject where you can get an exemption easily. So uh, one more suggestion is that before uh, appearing to the exams it's uh, very important for you to run through the formulas easily. So make uh, sure that uh, you have written the formulas in a very small note so that it can be uh, take out easily before going to the exam and it will help you a lot to you while going to the exams and don't forget to write the revision exams before the uh, exam because uh, it will help you a lot because uh, you can maybe write the exams in a proper manner and timely manner and you can arrange it in a scheduled way. So I hope uh, strategic financial management is also a subject where you can uh, have more marks than other subjects. So FR and SFM are the two subjects where you can get exemptions so that if you get likes marks in theory subjects like auditing and law, these subjects will get you to go through the risky phase and make you succeed in the CA final results. So make sure that in FR and SFM you get exemptions and any other suggestions is that um, so in case of SFM you just uh, uh, do the problem for once a model you need to write a problem or do a problem in a uh, rough notes so that you can get a grip of the problem how to do it and uh, repeat okay one more thing I need to tell you is that uh, so it's very important for the people to do the questions uh, before the exam because it's very difficult for you to solve all the problems in all the chapters before writing the exam so what I do is that uh, once I uh, do the practice manual or sedimental revisions for two to three times Next time when I go for the revision, I'll just read the problem and I'll automatically uh, get to know what is the problem and how to do that. So what I do is that if I get to know the problem uh, easily, so what I'll do is that I'll just type out the problem uh, and next time I'll not go through it because I know the problem already. So next time when you go through the uh, practice manual, most of the chapters are covered. So only little uh, problems and uh, very conceptual problems can be left over for you to get solved so that you can uh, save some 40% of time or 50% of time when I go for the next revisions. So I think practice manual and study material in this way, if you go through, then it will be very important and very useful for you to save your time before the exam day. So I think you make sure that you strike up the problems which have you have been already accustomed to so to save the time and to go through the other problems which are very new to yours.
and uh, uh, yeah next coming to the other subjects in group 1 that is law and auditing these are the two subjects which are very tough uh, and which will decide your result in ca final so i also faced so many difficulties in these subjects so audit is one of the subjects where uh, you may read all the questions but suppose if you read 100 questions in audit uh, there may be so many chances that one not one question is given for the exam so it's difficult for you to know what the questions are coming from which is the case in other subjects but this is not the case in uh, this auditing so what i did is that uh, i just have uh, gone through the practice manual for two to three times so that at least i'll get some 50 marks because if i read perfectly the practice manual so i'll just replicate the answers in the question exam so that i'll get at least at least 50 or 40 marks because i have been done well in other exams right so it may get to rescue for me if i get some at least 40 or to 45 marks which has actually happened in my case so but you should not be in the risk that what i have faced so in order to overcome that problem you be perfect in practice manual and other than that you have to be uh, perfect in a course material and other rtps and mock test papers also so then only you can get uh, many good marks and you will not be in a risk position which has been happened in my case so please be perfect in practice manual in case of auditing and in the same case law also but in some different uh, aspect what i can tell in law is that you can make a short notes because section wise if you write uh, the summary of the law in separate notes then it will be helpful for you to take out the extracts from the so short notes when going to the exam for the before day so i think law is a subject where you can get good marks than audit because if you write the audit uh, sections and all and the conclusion in very perfect manner you will get the chance of getting the good marks but it is not in the case of audit because it is judgmental subject where the examiner may give you award the marks for four marks and the other by example for the same question you may award some three marks so it is not the case with law if you write the answer very perfectly then you will get the marks in very good manner when compared to the auditing so these are the two aspects what i have observed in auditing and law so please be uh, sure that you have been perfect in audit practice manual and other course materials also because i think surely practice manual is not sufficient for audit and law you have to go through the course material also and other uh, sections and all provisions also and make sure that in law you make a short notes of it and then only it will come to